Hello and welcome to the video for sixth grade for Tuesday, April the 21st. Uh, this is going to cover our homework from the lesson that we were working on, um, working with the surface area of prisms. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. I've kind of written in the intermediate steps as well as the answers so I can save a little bit of time because it does take time for me to uh, handwrite all of this in using my mouse on the computer. So we are going to have two sides of our shape for number two that are gonna be three and a half by six. We have two sides that are three and a half by four. We have two sides that are six by four. So these are my intermediate steps. I would need to have two of those groups each and then add everything together. That's gonna to give us 118 square inches. Number four, I am going to have one side that is 10 by 12. I'm going to have one side that is six by 12. And then I'm gonna have a side that is eight in this direction by 12. And so what you're gonna find is this thing that I talked about with a right triangle where all three sides are gonna be different lengths. And so the ratio for this one would be three to four to five um, if we were to divide both of these numbers by two. And so using the thing that I kind of told you about that with uh, right triangles, or maybe it was fifth grade, um, can't remember now, uh, it's been a long year. So um, this side times this side, or square of this side times the square of this side will give us um, the answer that would be the square of this side. So if I did 36 plus 64, I should get 100, um, and I do. So that means that this side is gonna have a different measurement. So when I do the height, the eight here is going to be the height. This is our hypotenuse. We are not going to use that as the height. If we do that, we get a different answer. Um, so for anyone that didn't get this as their final answer, I would double check and see if you ended up doing um, the eight times uh, 10. For that. So one half of eight times 10 would give us a completely different answer than if we do this. So this is our length, this is our height, um, or width and height for uh, the triangle. And so again, we're going to have one of these, one of these, one of these, two of these. Um, and so I went ahead and made that into 48, taking my two groups of 24. Uh, number six. So we are working with a styrofoam cube. The length of each side is five inches. How much surface area? We are gonna do five times five to get the surface area of one side. And so that's gonna be 25 square inches per side times six sides for a cube. And that gives us 150. Uh, and that should be inches square. I forgot to put in that. I did it for every other problem I think except for that one. So number one on the back, um, again, we're gonna use um, our diameter of the baseball it's going to fit inside which means it the baseball um, is going to be the same size as the um, length and width and so that's going to be three times three is nine we have six faces um, for the box because it's a cube and that would give us 54 square inches for the surface area and then our last problem uh, number two we are going to have two sides that are two by four. We are gonna have two sides that are two by 24. We're gonna have two sides that are four by 24. And so if I take all of these three numbers, double them, and then add them together, um, I get 304. I actually took the time to do this one because I was trying to do it in my head. And for some reason I got 308 and I was like, that can't be right. Um, so um, may, maybe taking a little extra step to write that down uh, just to make sure I don't make a mistake and tell you guys the wrong answer. So um, I will be recording a few more videos um, to cover Tuesday and Wednesdays uh, videos because I have some appointments uh, that my wife and I have to do. And then uh, the lesson that will come out on Thursday, I will be recording uh, that on Wednesday. So um, I will still be doing office hours for you guys on Wednesday, and I will also be available um, to answer any questions that you have in Google Classroom. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to post in there. Um, I will be able to do that, but the time, uh, several hours a day that I spend 
uh, planning and recording and, and doing everything with the videos, uh, I'm going to need to use that time to do some other things. So you will see three videos in a row of me wearing the exact same green shirt. So I didn't wear the same shirt three days in a row. And uh, so <laughs> to help with that, but um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow.